Are you a teenager struggling to grow your Instagram account? Well then, you have come to the perfect place. In this video, I'm going to share exactly how you can start growing organically on Instagram going into 2022. Now let's get right into it. When it comes to growing your page and just marketing in general, you have to understand that it is impossible to please everyone at the same time. So instead, just focus on marketing your page to a special group of people that you know would be interested in your page. That way you don't try to please everyone at the same time and you get a deeper relationship with the persons that actually follow you. Now here's a few things you should really identify when you're trying to grow. Firstly, you have to understand what age your targeted audience are. Are they kids between 8 and 13? Or are they just general teenagers? Or if you're doing some sort of cooking page, then that page might be targeted to more adults. Also, where they live. Do they live in the United States? States or do they live in India? There's quite a big difference. So try to identify approximately where they live around the world. What do they do for a living? When do they log into Instagram? We all have different times of the day that we are most active on Instagram and therefore your target audience compared to another page target audience can vary quite a lot. Instagram provides you with some analytics in your insights that show you when your followers are the most active. Try to take advantage of this by posting at the right time. Now now kind of on the same topic here, users on Instagram love to share and comment on posts that are good. In order for you to catch your audience's attention on Instagram, the first rule is to create engaging content. The more engaging a piece of content is, the more likely they are to share it to their friends. Here are a few tips on creating engaging content and boosting your engagement on Instagram. Firstly, start to upload more videos. Why you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. Videos on Instagram have been proven to get 38% more engagement than just regular plain images. So start to create videos. The second thing is to create content that your audience can relate to. The best content you can create on Instagram will depend entirely on your audience. That's the reason why you need to identify them and after that it's just a matter of creating relatable posts. Lastly, make sure that you use the right hashtags. This will help to generate more engagement and subsequently also more followers on your page. To get this right, research the hashtags that are related to your niche. Then it's just a matter of creating a few lists of relevant hashtags to your posts. If you want to get a more detailed explanation on hashtags, let me know in the comments below. Another crucial part when growing on Instagram organically is to know what pages you are competing with. To identify your competition, simply combine a list of all the major Instagram accounts that are within your niche. For example, let's say that you are in the food niche. Then a good idea might be to compile a list of the food bloggers and also the theme pages about food on Instagram. That way you can start to understand these accounts better and also know what you should be publishing. And also, don't just add them up. Ask yourself some questions. What topics do the their audience engage with? Which posts are getting the most likes? How often are they posting? And do they have a color theme on their page? Now moving along, your profile and your bio is among the first thing your audience will see when they just came across your page. So to say the least, we can all agree that that is a pretty important thing to master. When setting up your profile, you should have certain aspects in mind. The first being your name. Try including a keyword to increase your page's visibility during searches. And also, please, for the love of God, don't try to use any special characters and numbers in your names. The cleaner your name looks, the more professional you look as a creator. The second thing is to make sure that you have a professionally looking logo. After all, your logo is the face slash image that represents your entire page as a whole. That's what people will be using to remember your page. Don't settle for anything of bad quality and make your logo count. Now lastly, the third thing is your bio. Make all of those 150 characters count. Now I'm not gonna sit here and try to say that you have to use up all of those characters all the way to the limit. But what I'm saying is that you should say enough to convince people to follow you. No one wants to follow a ugly and spammy looking page. So make 
make the best use of your bio. Now moving along, we touched upon this briefly previously in the video, but keep your hashtags relevant. Some people, in an attempt to make their page more visible, add almost every hashtag that they can come up with, even though it have nothing to do with the post itself or the brand that they are. I am here to tell you that that's not the strategy that is going to work. So keep your hashtags relevant and don't ruin your reputation on Instagram. But even though with a cultivated list of hashtags, no Instagram account will grow if they don't post. And that just goes without saying. To jumpstart your account's growth, you should start to post consistently and multiple times per day. By doing this, you will show up on the feed of your followers multiple times per day. And as a result of that, they will start to associate more with your page and you know with more engagement also comes more followers so really if you post a lot of content that not only relates to your target audience but also gets them to engage with your post you will actually be surprised of how fast that growth can take off and you know to make that posting easier for yourself you can start to schedule your posts after you have gathered or created engaging content the next step is to schedule them for the next week or even the month ahead. The key here is to post at the right time when your audience is active. And you know one tool I like to use here is actually the Facebook Creator Studio. If you go on there and sign up with your Instagram account, it will have a section where you can not only create the content but also schedule them for the date and the time that they will be uploaded. Now the absolute last thing you can do to grow organically on Instagram is to collaborate with other similar pages in your niche. To do this, simply identify similar creators that are not only in the same niche but also have around the same number of followers as yourself. To do this, you can simply just go on to the search box on Instagram and search for pages in your niche. Then you can just go through the accounts that come up and also the suggested accounts that Instagram provides you with. Once you have then identified a page or a few pages that that are in your niche and around the same number of followers, you can start to reach out to these people by DMs and ask them if they are interested in doing some sort of collaboration. Now finally, since you watched this video all the way here, you are most likely interested in growing on Instagram. And therefore, naturally, I suggest you check out this video here where I show you a hidden little secret to help you grow on Instagram. Now with that all being said though, my name is Oliver and I'm out.